Hi, hello and welcome, Micropunter here again, and I received another question today, um, and I just uh, want to answer it also using this video. Um, your website and videos are amazing and I'm learning a lot. Um, I have a very old, simple microscope that I have used to observe mainly stained slides, and I'm interested in observing more living organisms such as protozoa, and I'm trying to decide which microscope to buy. Um, by the way, I'm getting uh, a lot of questions uh, like this, uh, where people cannot decide. Um, which microscopes uh, to buy, so that's also one of the reasons why I'm making this video here to help you out a little bit. I was wondering if a trinocular phase contrast microscope uh, would allow me to see more details for these fresh mounts and if a high-end model from um, the brand Omax and Amscope would be good enough uh, because even their expensive models are cheaper than a Nikon or Olympus. And uh, when you wrote about phase contrast, you only mentioned bacteria. Is it worth uh, for other specimens as well? Well, first of all, thank you very much for this uh, question. It's, I think, it's an important question. And I just um, wanted to mention it's not only um, Omax and Amscope, but there's also Swift uh, microscopes um, around, uh, which uh, basically also sells, uh, has a whole line of educational microscopes, also from very low end to high end. Um, the question is, is the following, is it worth uh, going for phase uh, contrast? Um, and I have to admit, I'm, um, it's not so easy for me to answer this question because microscopy of course is a hobby um, and it's supposed to be fun and if you have the money available and if you're interested in trying phase contrast then of course why not, it's a, it's a part of a, it's a, it's a hobby. Yeah. Um, However, I'm going to therefore focus mainly, mainly on the things that you can actually see, um, because I think this is uh, the the question really: is it worth uh, the extra money? And I'm um, and concerning this, I would probably say um, um, if money is an issue, I probably would invest the money in other things than in face uh, face contrast. So. Um, I would basically do the following. I would rather ask, invest the money into a trinocular head than, for example, in a binocular head uh, with face contrast. Okay, so that is uh, the thing because I consider ta um, an easy way to take pictures more important than, for example, face contrast. Now it is like this that face contrast allows you indeed to see transparent specimens more easily. Okay, it is like this that bacteria can also be observed. Uh, this is not a phase contrast; it's a regular bright field uh, microscope. Bacteria can also be observed observed uh, with a regular bright field. Um, all you have to do is you have to co close the condenser a lot, and then what you see, you, you can see them, but you see a more of a diffraction pattern. Um, but you can still see them. Um, for very fine details, um, it's sometimes, however, better if you use a phase contrast. However, um, it's like this that there is a big trade-off, uh, and it's not only only the high cost of a phase contrast, but the trade-off is, is that you need, um, of course, a dedicated phase contrast objectives, I have them here, and you also need a phase contrast condenser. This is when you uh, change the magnification of, um, of the phase contrast, uh, then you also have to change uh, the condenser, sometimes there is a filter that you have to attach. Okay, um, This is a little bit uh, um, yeah, um, cumbersome um, and it takes time and then you have to readjust uh, everything again, you have to recenter everything. And in my case here, what I have is I already have a, a special phase contrast condenser where, I don't know if you can see it, you can rotate this, but this is getting really expensive. As a matter of fact, this one here is I bought second hand. Um, so um, it's like this, it might not be worth uh, the hassle. Um, and if you want to do quick observation um, using, um, using uh, the microscope, um, I always use this one here uh, because it's so much easier and it's so much faster to simply observe it because I don't have to center the, the condenser every time uh, when I want to use it. I don't have to exchange the filter and all of these things, right? Um, so um, I would say it's uh, there is a, this um, yeah the ease of use aspect which should also be a little bit considered. Um, now, from from an optical perspective, you have to understand that phase contrast is a, and basically artificially makes certain parts brighter or darker, and this means it, it changes the natural appearance um, of the specimen um, for the sake of making some parts easier to see. Um, so this basically means that if you are interested in the natural colors, especially when you're doing a pond water microscopy and you want to see the natural colors of, of the specimens, then bright field is probably better because um, it does not change the brightness of the different uh, uh, specimens depending on its refractive index. Okay, um, And phase contrast changes the brightness around depending on the refractive index, therefore it introduces optical artifacts. So for example, what happens is, is that um, in phase contrast often it's like this, that the objects that you look at are surrounded by a, a, a bright halo, a, a bright ring, um, 
which increases the contrast, but this bright ring really doesn't exist. Uh, okay, so it's simply something that the phase contrast optics introduce to make uh, the specimens more easily visible. So you can actually see that um, there is also, to a certain extent, um, yeah, a, a disadvantage uh, to phase contrast. It really depends what you want to do. I probably would recommend as an amateur um, who is basically um, who wants to uh, do serious microscopy, um, I probably would say stick with a bright field um, because uh, if you want to go into phase contrast the, the costs are really going up very quickly and then you probably already have to uh, move over to the very high-end uh, microscopes like Olympus, Nikon, Zeiss and Leica um, and then you're really um, yeah it, it's getting really uh, costly in, in this uh, in this area okay so that is basically my my general advice um, get yourself probably a, a decent bright field microscope uh, yeah one that you like uh, to work with um, and it's going to be, I would almost say, 99% you're, you're going to be happy with it uh, because the bottleneck ultimately is not the optics really or it's not whether you have bright field or phase contrast. Um, it is really more what you are actually able going to, what do you want to observe and that you actually go out and actually observe the things. Get yourself, uh, if you have, a, um, um, if, if you want to invest uh, in something, get yourself a decent uh, condenser, um, one that also allows you, like this one over here does, the one that also allows you to uh, take, uh, put a dark field patch stop in, in here. Um, honestly, uh, this is something that I'm using almost every time and is, uh, I, I would say, a very, very good benefit, okay? Um, it's a very simple thing and if your condenser is able to do that, that you're able to attach this dark field patch stop, I think uh, um, the ease of use um, and everything, um, I would say in many cases, in many cases, um, outperforms uh, than uh, phase contrast. Um, also because uh, face contrast is uh, a little bit specialized. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, in any case, just some thoughts. I uh, wish you a nice day. Happy micro hunting. Happy micro hunting. Bye-bye. And again, thank you for the question.